The Nigerian institution of surveyors has pledged to eradicate corruption and quackery within its profession. Dr. Masu Ibitoye reaffirmed this commitment during the inauguration of new executives. Professor Adewale Adeniji warned that unethical practices could hinder the profession's reputation. Abiodun Lufemi Liadi emphasized the importance of eradicating quackery. Many surveyors engaged in sharp practices such as falsification of survey reports or manipulation of data or records. This unethical behavior undermines the integrity of the profession and makes it difficult for other surveyors to build a positive professional image. Publication of picking numbers, that is, using survey picking numbers allocated to surveyors previously from another location or false numbers assigned to another surveyor for a new survey to avoid mandatory payment for former processing of new survey uh, is also rampant. It also includes validating of survey records and plans and the cease of your inactive practice. As of today, no of your practice actively will be seen and details of a disease of your which has resulted in huge numbers of fake plans, maps in circulation that can further erode public trust. Of the profession. It's a, joint, it's a joint effort. We are on it and we have been working to see how we can reduce quackery in the profession. Really, it is not surveying alone that we have quackery. But as it is now, we for more or less have more quackery in surveying than any other profession. But what we are trying to do is that educate our people and telling them that who is a surveyor. We have their offices, they have their assembled. Not everybody that comes to you and introduce himself that is a surveyor, that is a Ask one or two questions. And again, why you know who is a quack? If you give a job to somebody who, who uh, presented himself to you as a surveyor, by the time he's returning your document to you, and his name is not on that paper, no fully sure that you are patronized quack. A surveyor will prepare it, sign it by himself, and deliver it to you. Not true any other way. You don't need any intermediary before you get to a surveyor. Corruption within the profession, you are talking of unethical practices. And thank God in the institution we have what we call the ethics committee. Now, the ethics committee within the institution at the branch level that handle all cases of unethical behavior. That is as far as it concerns the membership of Nigerian Institution of Surveyors. But when it has to do with those who are outside, we have little to do except to hand over such worst ones to the law enforcement agency and possibly to move ahead and get one prosecuted in the court of law. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.